Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, A Personal Pardon, May 8th. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Psalm 51 verse 1. We should remember that all make mistakes. Even men and women who have had years of experience sometimes err, but God does not cast them off because of their errors. To every erring son and daughter of Adam, he gives the privilege of another trial. Jesus loves to have us come to him just as we are, sinful, helpless, dependent. We may come with all our weakness, our folly, our sinfulness, and fall at his feet in penitence. It is his glory to encircle us in the arms of his love and to bind up our wounds to cleanse us from all impurity. Here is where thousands fail. They do not believe that Jesus pardons them personally, individually. They do not take God at his word. It is the privilege of all who comply with the conditions to know for themselves that pardon is freely extended for every sin. Put away the suspicion that God's promises are not meant for you. They are for every repentant transgressor. Strength and grace have been provided through Christ to be brought by ministering angels to every believing soul. None are so sinful that they cannot find strength, purity, and righteousness in Jesus who died for them. He is waiting to strip them of their garments stained and polluted with sin and to put upon them the white robes of righteousness. He bids them live and not die. Can you believe that when the poor sinner longs to return, longs to forsake his sins, the Lord sternly withholds him from coming to his feet in repentance? Away with such thoughts! Nothing can hurt your own soul more than to entertain such a conception of our Heavenly Father. Come with your whole heart to Jesus, and you may claim his blessing. He who through his own atonement provided for man an infinite fund of moral power will not fail to employ his power in their behalf. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.